All right, today let's have a look at the uh, retail mathematics. All right, so we have known that uh, some of the formulas in the previous lectures, like SP will be equal to uh, the cost plus the net profit plus with the operating expenses. And then today we'll have uh, some new formula. Uh, like the first, uh, the second one will be break even price. The break even price is given by cost plus with the uh, OE, cost plus with the operating expenses. And then we can find the, uh, let's say we, we want to make a markdown. So the maximum markdown, maximum markdown will be given by the selling price minus BDP. If the selling price, let's say if the selling price greater than BDP, then we'll have profit. But if selling price is less than the BEP, meaning that when we find the maximum lockdown, SP minus BEP will be negative, so we'll get loss, rugi. So now, uh, we can find the maximum percentage of markdown. To find the maximum percentage of markdown, the formula is SP minus BEP over SP multiplied by 100% because we want to find the percentage. All right, let's see some examples here. Let's say we have uh, something like cost, the cost is given by RM200. And then we want to take the net profit as 80, sorry, as RM70, right? And the operating expenses may be RM30. So using the first formula in this formula, so we'll get SP will be equal to cost plus net profit plus the operating expenses. So we'll have 200 plus 70 plus 30. So we'll get RM300. So this is the first formula. Next, we can find the break-even price. The break-even price is given by C plus OE, cost plus with the operating expenses. So we'll put C as RM200 plus operating expenses is 30 ringgit. So we'll get RM230. So this is the break-even price. Next, we can find the maximum markdown, number three. Let's say we want to make a markdown, then how much is the maximum markdown that can be made? Right, so the maximum markdown, so it's given by SP minus BDP. So we'll have SP as 300, so 300 minus BEP as 230, so 230. So we get maximum markdown is RM70, meaning that if we want to make a markdown from RM300, then we from RM300, sorry, from RM300, so we can make a markdown uh, as, as maximum as uh, 70 ringgit so that we, we will not incur any loss. So, so the new price will be uh, 300 minus 70, so we'll get 230. So this is the break-even price. Uh, maximum markdown, then we can find the maximum percentage of markdown. Number four, maximum percentage of markdown, right? So the formula is given by SP minus BEP, break-even price over selling price multiplied by 100%. So we insert all the values, 300 minus 230 over SP with 300 and then we'll multiply with 100%. So 70 over 300 multiplied by 100. So we'll get something like, 23.33%, meaning that if we want to make a sale during maybe year end, year end sale, so from the original price, the selling price is 300, we can make sale as much as 23.33% only so that we will not incur any loss. So this is basically what we have in the, um, re in the retail mathematics. Right, so let's see one example from the final exam questions. So uh, a computer was purchased for RM1500, so this is actually the cost. And a retailer sold the computer with 35% net profit based on cost, so this 35% is actually net profit based on cost. So we better jot down the information in our solution. So actually the cost is RM1500, and then we, we know that it is net profit is 35% based on cost, meaning that we have to multiply with cost. All right, next is that, um, if the operating expenses incurred were 20% based on cost, so we'll have to write information as uh, uh, what we call it OE, operating expenses, is 20% based on cost. So actually, we can directly find the value for uh, NP and also OE because the cost is already given. So 35% meaning that 0.35, we have to multiply with the cost is 1,500. Using your calculator, you got the value as 525. Next is that OE, we have 20% meaning that 0 0.2, you have to multiply with the cost, 1000 as 500. So you multiply that, you got 300 ringgit. All right. Next, the questions ask us to find the selling price. So we have to use the formula for selling price, right? The formula for selling price. 
the selling price is given as the first question as as to find selling price cost plus net profit plus oe so the cost is the cost is given here so 1500 plus net profit is 525 525 plus operating expenses already calculated so it is 300 so using your calculator you can add them up so you will get rm 200 uh, 2325 ringgit so that one is your selling price for the computer next find the break even price right so how to find the break even price we know that the formula is given as right so BEP is given by cost plus with the operating expenses so which one is cost of course this one so it's actually 1500 plus operating expenses so of course this one so this is operating expenses so RM 300 so the break even price is RM 1800 so we are done with the break even price next the amount of net profit or loss if the price of computer is reduced by 30 percent so we have to find the new selling price all right is reduced by 30 percent so what we have to do is that we have to find the new selling price so we know from the previous formula that the new selling price is given by uh, the selling price multiplied by sorry one minus d how much is discount so it's reduced by 30 percent so the selling price is this one so 2325 it's reduced by 30 percent meaning that 0 0.3 so you calculate using your calculator, 325, 1 minus 0 0.3, you'll get RM 1,627 ringgit 50 cents. So this is the new selling price. So we have to check whether the new this new selling price will give us loss or uh, profit. So the how to get that formula? So it's either to get net profit or net loss is given by must be the this new selling price minus with the BEP. So we take 1,627 ringgit 50 cents. We have to minus this BEP is here. So 1,800. So we get negative because 1627.5 is less than 1,800. So we get negative 1,172.50 cents. So we we'll actually get net loss, right? We'll label as NL, net loss. Next, the maximum markdown percent that could be offered without incurring any loss so to calculate that we can use the formula right the formula is given as number four the maximum percentage of markdown is given by the original selling price minus the BEP over the original selling price multiplied by 100 percent we want to find a percentage so as selling price is 2325 ringgit minus the BEP is 1800 over the selling price 2325 you have to multiply by 100 so using your calculator so you have to get as much as 22.58 percent meaning that we can only make maximum of 22.58 percent sale or markdown if you don't want to get any loss so we are done with this question so we have got 4 plus 266 plus 288 plus 210 marks there thank you for watching